Hello, my name is Will Carmack, and on today's editing tutorial, I will be showing you how to uh, warp someone's perspective. Welcome to this editing tutorial. You've probably seen me do this effect a few times on Instagram and on YouTube. And now I'm going to be showing you how to do it. And in regards to advancement of editing, this is probably one of the easiest effects you can ever do. The hard part is actually just shooting it. So I'll throw this back to past Will. Today we will be interacting with the background, which means we need something in the foreground that is the exact same height or shape of the thing and the background, which is this car. Today I have some handy dandy buckets with me. The goal is to just make a tower and have it line up exactly with the thing in the background. Today it just so happens to be uh, buckets and a pan of paint. A can of paint. That looks about right. This effect won't work if your item in the foreground is taller than the thing in the background. So you always have to make sure there's a little bit of what's in the background on top. Okay, and so check this out. Right now we have a bucket and some paint cans in the foreground. I put this on top of the paint can. It just looks like I've continued this ugly tower. But if I mask the background on top, wow! This cup is on top of that car. Take the mask off. So we have this. How do we get that masked background on top? Ugh. Now we have this background that I will take a still frame of. And we're back. Okay, so we're gonna just cycle back a little bit to run through everything in the editing side of things. So here I have my clip of me Hello. walking up to the car. So yeah, I just put my cup right on top of the black vehicle. And then right here I have my still frame that I took where the background was completely viewable. There was nothing obstructing the background that I can now put on top of the paint buckets. So this is really all you do. You drag the still frame that you got of the background, drag that on top of your clip, make it as long as the clip. So right now you just have a still frame and now you just mask out where the paint buckets were. So we come up to the top right here and grab the pin tool. So I'll start at the top of this car here. Basically make a rough mask around the area where the buckets were. And if you look here, now you have gotten rid of the buckets like so. And drag the cursor over and you can just put your cup right on top of the car. Uh, obviously my hand is now behind the mask that I've put on top of everything and you know how to fix that with another mask There's literally in nothing a mask can't solve just duplicate that back layer bring it on top and then frame by frame Mask your hand out every single time. It's behind the background mask Okay, perfect the hand is now masked in front of everything and so if we uh, play that back Check it out BAM we've now successfully put a cup on top of the car in the background. This edit is that easy. You really just have to make sure you have a clean slate that you can mask over top the thing that you're interacting with in the background. For best practice, I recommend every single one of your masks have a feather of zero. If you start blurring lines, it looks weird. And there we go. That is another editing tutorial from Will Carmack. And because I just decided to move to New York City, I'm accepting the fact that I'm about to be poor. But I won't be as poor as I have to be because this video was sponsored by, you guessed it, Squarespace. From websites to online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. They are no stranger to awards because they have award-winning customer service and designer templates. They empower creative people with ideas to succeed. It just makes sense. And if you use squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, top link in the description below, you will get 10% off. And also a huge thank you to Squarespace. I'm, I'm a very small creator and the fact that any brand is helping me make money, it's honestly enabling me to move to New York and chase my dreams and I might cry because that is uh, so exciting. <laughs> So thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video and I hope you guys like this tutorial. Where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day. I'll see you in New York. Hello, on today's editing tutorial, I will be showing you how to uh, 